Welcome back to a new episode of Porridge Coffee Finland. Today we're having a closer look at our forest. We're going on a safari. That might sound less boring than it actually is, because you won't see any wild animals this time. Nope. No, none of these. Nope. Well, you saw them now. Anyway, it is also not that boring, because we're going on a moss safari. That's right, moss. And guess what? It contains wildlife. Micro wildlife. That's pretty funky. If you put a moss sample under the microscope, you might see a variety of microorganisms. For example, rotifers. They are about 100 to 500 micrometers. They have rapidly rotating wheels of little hairs on their heads to guide food to their mouth. Ingenious! Next! This one is a tiny worm. But very clever people call them nematodes. It means little animal that looks like a thread of something. Most of them are between 1 and 2 millimeters long. I don't really know what else I could say about them. Hmm. Ah yes, moss mites. They are recognizable for most of us, as they are similar to the ones in our hair or the ones in our beds. Apparently they also enjoy themselves in the forest. Their sizes range from 0.2 to 1.4 millimeters. Number 4. On my list here is moving so fast that it is difficult to follow under the microscope. It's the gastrotrick, but more commonly known as hairy back. You probably guessed it, it has a hairy back. They can be extremely tiny, but some can get up to 3 millimeters in length. The last one for today is the most spectacular one, it's the tardigrade. These moss piglets are a pleasure to observe and time sometimes flies by when you find one, wiggling its eight legs around and looking at you with his two funny little eyes. They're quite big, about 0.5 millimeters. Safari is over. Thank you for coming along today and please come again. Take care and don't forget to always put back your moss sample. Especially now that you know that it's full of micro wildlife. Oh, I found another one. Ah, this is just fantastic. <laughs>